Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and we're going to do a little project today. Now, I would love to say that this project was my idea, but it was not. I saw this on TikTok last Halloween season and decided that we are going to do it. I'm going to show you how I'm doing it. So I took one of these willow trees. I actually, one of these willow tree figures. I got this at a thrift store and I think she was holding a heart, but that's missing and her wings were pulled off. So I got her for like pennies, really. So I grabbed this one and this one I've already painted, but this is a fake one that I ordered online. And as you can see, I'm painting them. So I'm going to show you how I went about making these. And they're going to look like little witches. <laughs> so we will start here. I took some of this DOS air dry clay. I actually used the terracotta because that's what's open. But it's either is fine. Any air dry clay will work. And I just formed a witch's hat. I honestly just took a ball and I swooshed it with my fingers, like pinched it until I got a very rough witch's hat. This one is for her. Um, and then I kind of smooshed it on their head so I know where I want it. And then I let it, I left it on the hat head this way, like sitting up for it to start drying. And once the outer was dry, I just turned it over like that. I let the inside dry and then I painted it up. And that's it. And then I took some um, rub and buff for the gold color. And then that's just a little white paint. I just wanted some texture. But these are very rough, rudimentary little witches hats. You can make them as neat or as not neat as you so choose. So some of the supplies you'll need, obviously, is the air dry clay. I find that chalk paint seems to cover it better than acrylic but you use whatever you have i did use a little bit of both if you do acrylic you just may need a couple more coats um because we're dealing with paint i have some handy wipes just to wipe up any mess i didn't i don't have like a paint palette so i'm just going to use a plastic bag to mix my paint on i have some e6000 and like i said some rub and buff mostly i wanted and i'm going to show you the rub and buff i wanted color differential between the black cat and the dress so i did the dress in a dark gray but i want to go over it with a little bit of rub and buff so i used this elephant to do the dress that she's wearing. And then I added a little silver to her hair. Obviously I didn't cover it great because she's gonna have a hat on. And you can tell this is definitely a fake um, willow tree, but that's okay. This can work with any figurine that you so choose. You'll need different size paint brushes. You're definitely gonna want something small and then, you know, something that's gonna get you some somewhere. And then paint and that's that is it now i will once everybody is dry and their hats are on their heads i'm going to seal them uh the chalk i mean i guess i don't have to but you can seal them the chalk paint leaves a different texture so let me get some paint out here and then we're going to start on her i'm going to have to attach her somewhere because the way i have her hat on she's going to tip over because she stands at an angle but we'll worry about that once we are done Okie dokie. So I want to do her dress black mostly, but with a little purple in it. Just to give it a little different color than just straight black. So, and then I'll do some purpley highlights. I don't know if that's enough purple. What do we think? Probably need a little more. This is the fun part for me, getting to mix up all the different colors. Also, some of my paint is a little on the dry side. I haven't painted in a while. So we just mix up our colors. Just make sure if you're mixing that you mix up enough that um, you can do the whole project. I think that's good. And then I'll go over it with a little bit of purple as well. And what's fun is, um, and then I'm just gonna start painting. What is fun about this is there's really no wrong. No wrong way to do it. 
So it's going to be a very quick video, I tell you, because um, it's just painting. And I want to just paint her dress. I'm not going to paint her skin or her hair. I did paint the other ladies because I wanted her to have gray hair. But I'll just fast forward this and I'll be back when she when her dress is all painted. Okay, I've got the next step. And what I did, she was painted. I took a little rub and buff just to make her dress look a little older. And then I took some marbles from the Dollar Tree. And I glued it in her hand like she has a something. A magical something. And I used uh, Fix It from the Dollar Tree. Then I took my air dry clay and I just made a very rough cauldron and I took one of their plastic pumpkins and glued it on the bottom just to give it some height, but we do need to paint inside it now. So we want this to get painted and it will take a couple coats. I have found that the chalk paint is what's working best on these um, on this clay. It does absorb a little bit of it, so in kind of weird pattern. I just do a couple coats. I'm just gonna do this straight black. I should seal all this, but you know, that sounds like work. And I can be pretty messy here because this is really a rough, rustic feel. So I didn't worry about the clay being too perfect because I really wanted it to feel aged. And mostly I just need to get where my fingers touched. Oh, and I glued, did I tell you, I glued the uh, pumpkin on the bottom with the fix-all as well. So yeah, that's it. It'll dry quickly too. I may seal all this stuff or I may not. Depends on my mood. So now I have my little cauldron. It just needs to sit and dry. Okay, nothing big there. Let me get my, these wipes actually turn out to be perfect to keep on my craft table for paint and stuff on my fingers. Now, the next thing we have to do is attach her hat to her head. And I'm gonna do it the exact same way I did. Okay, the next thing we need to do is put some glue on her hat or on her head. Just a little bit. Don't need a lot. And then we're just gonna get her head up in there. So that's how I want her hat to fit. So we're good. Just gonna sit her up. There we go. And let that dry. We're not touching it, we're not moving it, we're not doing anything to her. We're just letting it dry. And I'll All be back. All right, they're done. My little willow tree piece <laughs> into witches. We'll pro I told you I gotta fix her. But I love them. And I think they are perfect. And with a little air dry clay, which by the way, they do sell at the Dollar Tree. Ugh. Oh, I broke her. I'm gonna have to glue her back together.